And you see, today, when you're just getting together in your home and a couple people get together and talk Bible, that's not a local church. There's no qualified man of God there. I have a pretty interesting little uh, PDF here, some characteristics of Jesuit colleges and universities. Characteristics of Jesuits. Okay? This is from one of their websites. And it's very interesting because if we go down here to page 24, you can see all the different uh, Jesuit universities there, by the way. Okay? Member institutions of the Association of Jesuit Colleges and Universities. Georgetown, that's a big one there. Loyola University. And there's one in Maryland, you know. And in New Orleans, very solidly Roman Catholic and voodoo down there too. But uh, very interesting there. You know, Wheeling Jesuit University. A lot of different ones. But uh, I want to show you some interesting terminology that they use down here which does not appear in the King James Bible and yet ironically many of the brethren will use this to lord over those to who worship at home. Go down here to page Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Page 23. Association of Jesuit Colleges and Universities. Remember what we're looking at here. Service to the local church. Huh. The university offers educational and formational programs and resources that build up the local church. And even with the local church, it also provides a I guess that's supposed to be focus where people of faith can wrestle with difficult questions facing the church and the world. Hmm, isn't that interesting because how many Baptists out there will pound you over the head with us and say, are you a member of a local church? You better be a member of a local church. And here it is in a Jesuit publication. And this term local church does not appear in the King James Bible, but it appears here in a Jesuit publication. That's just a coincidence, folks. That's just, uh, I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> oh, boy.